killed in broad daylight. You never believe that this could happen to your family, and then it does. His accused killer was captured in a chilling surveillance photo. Tonight, his family's plea to catch the gunman. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Tonight, the family of a St. Louis City homicide victim is demanding justice as the suspect remains on the loose. Our Pepper Baker joins us with how they're handling this tremendous loss. And Mike, on August 15th, 31 year old Michael Wyatt was shot and killed in broad daylight in South St. Louis City. Now, while police are still looking for the man responsible, Wyatt's family waits and reflects on his life taken too soon. Miranda Wyatt and her twin sister Amanda took a picture of their brother, wishing his life lasted longer. One moment, you know, we're calm and collected, and the next moment, it's a burst of tears singing about what he went through. On August 15th, their mother, Chris Ringwall, got the news no mother should ever have to hear. Her 31 year old son, Michael Wyatt, was shot and killed in South St. Louis City at 4 30 in the afternoon. My mom called, and I got the news that my brother was shot and um, I, um, I fell to my knees and I couldn't even see straight. My eyes just filled in with tears. Police released this photo of a man they believe is connected to the shooting. St. Louis emergency crews rushed Wyatt to the hospital, but by the time his family got there, it was too late. We were not able to say goodbye to him. Um, it was, that was it. A week later, family and friends paid their respects at Wyatt's funeral on Tuesday. It's very heartbreaking. And to see my grandkids yesterday saying goodbye to their dad was very hard. They're taking it pretty hard. They love their daddy. He liked to be goofy and make jokes, and he loved just being around people. Wyatt, his sister's mom, and his kids live in House Springs, Missouri. They say they don't visit the city often and weren't sure why Wyatt was there. It, it's, it's scary. It's really scary that in broad daylight this happened. And many questions remain as police continue to search for the person responsible. Waiting patiently to find justice and Hope justice will be served to the person we that caused our family so much grief and loss. I hope and he doesn't do it to somebody else's family. Wyatt was a former restaurant cook. His sister said cooking and drawing were his passions. He leaves behind two kids, a seven-year-old daughter and a six-year-old son. Police haven't said what led up to the shooting. And if you recognize the man in this surveillance video, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 866-371-TIPS. You can remain anonymous. New tonight, an execution date is now set.